everybody. Welcome to this week's live special edition episode number 24, right? 24. 24. The Jack Bauer. Yes. And we are live here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada at SHOT Show 2018 with myself, the Kaiju, Darth Falcon, as the always. Lord of Airsoft. Yes, the Sith Lord of Airsoft. And... As you can probably see, we have a full lineup of guests here for you today. And we're going to start from my right, your left, one of our sponsored Valken Alliance athletes, Bobby Wolves. What's up? Yay! What's up, guys? <laughs> Jumping over to the trees. Trail. <laughs> Jumping yeah. over to the other side of the pond from the UK, Kelly Hardwick from Femme Fatale Airsoft. Hi, Rob. And even further over the pond, the other ponds, all the way from Hong Kong, Tim from Red Wolf TV. Hey, everyone. Oh, you got, come on, Tim, you're not shy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. There, yeah, there we, we go. go. <laughs> that is awesome. <clears throat> Our good friend next to him, J-Lo, who is a SWAT team sniper here in the U.S. And good friend of mine, very longtime friend. And next to him, we've got Ryan from Airsoft C3. One this of the is a really good occasion because we almost never get Ryan in front of the camera. I no. know. It's always his business It's button. very awesome. It's rare. It's <laughs> rare. Yes, yes, Rich, we're very happy that we have Ryan. <laughs> and returning. We have returning. Returning to yes. the show. Second appearance. Round two. Yes. Mr. Derek from Mo Guns Tactical, who also does the Guns, Guns Gear, Gear and Beer podcast. podcast. What is up, guys? Yeah. You really get to listen to him. He's got that that smooth, you know, like, <laughs> nighttime DJ voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, yes. now you get to put a face to it. So, And for those of you that liked watching that vlog earlier after the countdown, you can catch many more of those, the rest of the vlogs, and we got a couple more left over for you. Head on over to YouTube, front slash Valken Video, and you can catch all the coverage that we've been doing here at SHOT Show 2018. But, real quick, as we always do, Darth Falcon, we're gonna run through the events. Can we skip it this time? Like, wanna... I mean, it's SHOT Show, no? Okay. Run. <laughs> <laughs> run. So, coming up this weekend, January 27th in the Southern region, 878 in Waxahachie, Texas, is hosting Op Warlords, which is also their two year anniversary, and. Chad came by the booth today. He did. Yeah, actually, I saw him yesterday. Yeah. Yep. So Chad came by the booth, 878. And events coming up in the future. Next weekend, we've got two big events in the South. we got Third Coast Airsoft is doing Operation Bone Strike, Vicksburg, Mississippi. And Overwatch Tactics is hosting Conquest of Avalon in Waxahachie, Texas. we got to go to Waxahachie. There's... Has anybody ever been to Waxahachie? No, I've been. No, that was a word. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was a word. It's right next to Texarkana. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> What's that word? <laughs> so many big words. Nah, I, I have a Colorado city town story for you later. So, naming towns in Colorado. We got you. <laughs> Following weekend, February 9th through the 11th in the Pacific region, Lion Claws is hosting Op Devil Dog Winter Offensive in Camp Pendleton which Falcon Alliance will be there in force. Also, we'll be vending, and your only source of Enola Gay smoke grenades. Because so, they just got approved at Camp Pendleton. Yep, so they just got to smoke it up. Yep. yep. You smoke, we choke, or no? We smoke, you choke. That's how it is, right? <laughs> I don't, well, you know, Omar's got to keep him straight, right? <laughs> It, it's kind of like burn, it's kind of like burn dust okay. and eat my rubber, right? From National Lampoon's Christmas Yeah, yeah, yeah. February seventeenth in the Midwest region, Hole in the Wall Paintball is hosting uh, Turquoise Ridge in Bangor, Michigan. I know we always want to say Bangor, Maine. February eighteenth, also in the Midwest, Cobra Airsoft Legion is hosting Operation Rhine River at Blast Camp in Hobart, Indiana, which Blast Camp is celebrating 30 years. Ryan River! Ryan! <laughs> Come Commander! Ryan River! <laughs> Sounds uh, better. Oh my goodness. Uh, February 23rd <laughs> through the 25th in the South, 
Centurion Milson with Bubblemore yeah. is hosting Charlie Mike. Oh. So that's in Blakely, Georgia. And February 24th, Extreme Airsoft and Ironside Airsoft are hosting Frosty versus Silva in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Make sure to stop by the LBX booth, go see Bo. Yes, <laughs> if you are here, be sure to go see Bo. So that's for the event update. And so now, on to the fun stuff. So it's we're at what? Closing out day three. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Who's tired? Sure. What is tiredness? What is, <laughs> what is sleep? Well, you're fighting jet lag. I'm fighting everything. <laughs> <laughs> jet lag, the flu, you know, airsofters. No. <laughs> just fighting them all. Oh my goodness. If you're just joining us, episode 24, we are live here in SHOT Show 2018. Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, with our friends and family here in... We're stealing some of the budget of the Falcon Core Show. We couldn't I, even afford comfortable seats for everybody. I know, right? No. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's super uncomfortable. So, how many how many steps or miles does everyone think they've walked so far? Probably, um, I'm about 12 and a half a day. 12 and a half miles, miles a day? Yep, that sounds about right. Well, wow. you're not staying in the Venetians, so I can... That's, that's true. Believable. So, I, I, you, can take, you can take two miles off of that, so, yeah, yeah I'm walking back and forth. And you know you look pretty fit. How many? How many do you think you've done? I think uh, first day is about seventeen thousand steps. I don't know how many miles that breaks down to, but uh, like eight or nine miles. Yeah, something like that. It's, wow. It was alright. Mm. Ten thousand today. Just today. Just today. Just today. Woo! Running up and down from that press room, up and yeah. down. Yeah. Press oh. room has great stuff. Yes, it yes. does. <laughs> they, that they is. Have treats, uh, coffee, drinks, pastries, fruit. Yes, yeah, Scooby Snacks. Very nice. nice. Also, it's internet too. I did not know snacks that. Snacks a day. This is my first year with the media pass. I really? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Really? the press yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be snacks. right back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, there's a time for there's a time for like the breakfast when they bring a breakfast when they bring a lunch. Like you don't even have to go anywhere. You just go in there. Wow. That's yes. a game changer. Sounds of like course I figured out after Shasha was over. <laughs> Pretty much. It's not too late. Oh yeah. Next, next year. It's always next year. Yeah. It, and what about you, Tim? Do I don't, did they like? Is it like ball and chain? You're like tied to the booth. I, yeah, I don't keep count. <laughs> and maybe I've walked several miles within the confines of five by ten. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Walking around every time you have to do the pitch. Do, do you leave a, a little trail around the edge, like a, a lion kept in a? Yeah, I think seat. there are my footprints are in this. I take the same steps every single time <laughs> I walk people around. There are moments where I turn backwards and I've walked backwards, <laughs> just to walk, just to showcase you know things behind me. And yeah, it's a lot of. I've done a lot more standing than I've done walking. I'm sure you guys have walked way more than I have. Oh, yes. Uh, Can't we, feel my feet anymore. I, we have a question from Michael Bright up in Canada. When C3 come to Canada? Soon. Soon. Dude, we get that question <laughs> so many times. Yes. C Canada wants That's C3. That statement on Instagram is Bye. so ominous. You guys, and so popular, you had to make a patch. Very soon, we will be um, coming into Canada and going to the EU. Uh, that's probably not going to happen until the early part of 2019. So um, we just finished a big rewrite of some of the code, the background code, to get us the ability to change languages and stuff. So obviously Canada and EU is pretty much English, but mm. um, as we go worldwide, that's going to have to be you know different languages. So that's, I mean, once you get over to Asia, then you know we yeah. might even see Ryan and Rich cosplay. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that would be epic right there. <laughs> So, yes, we're, we'll be in Canada in the not-too-distant future. So. Awesome. awesome. For those of you just joining us on the interwebs, do they still say interwebs in the UK? I mean, we can do. Interwebs. Interwebs. Done. Now we're saying it. <laughs> Episode we 24, we are live here on the Vulcan Debrief in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Please hit that share button, mash away, ask any comments you would like of any of our guests in the chat. Mike. Wonderful co-host, Darth Falcon, <laughs> will be monitoring the chat today and bringing up any questions that you might have for Bobby Wolves, Kelly Hardwick, Tim. I'm sorry, I've been ignoring this guy. Speak. 
I know. <laughs> How many steps did you take? You know, I don't. I don't. I hop on Kaiju's back because I. <laughs> yes, I, I I'm probably him. smart, but I'm not. I'm not. Being, you know, being quiet. I just. I get to talk to these guys a lot. I'm actually enjoying. He's you know, trying to you guys. the fanboys. Yeah, I'm just kind of sitting here like, oh, you know. go birds. Just don't get me started on the Eagles Super Bowl champs this year. Heck yeah, they are. We're just a little ahead of time announcing it, but yeah, I'm from Philadelphia area, so any Eagles fans. If out you there? hadn't. If you couldn't tell from the accent. Yeah. <laughs> no accent here. They've got accents. So, real quick, we are going to cut to a quick commercial real, for you folks out there. And so while we're doing that, enjoy this commercial, mash the share button, and we'll be right back with more from the live Falcon Debrief. What a commercial. Hey guys, welcome <laughs> back. Wow. Episode 24, Valken Debrief. And st strike one, Carl. That's strike one. Come on, Carl. Come uh, down it, Carl. I told, <laughs> I told one you job. We should have flown the regulars and I told you it was in budget. I, I, I know. Oh, we should have brought Randy. Yeah, Randy should have been sh here. Randy should have been Randy, here. Randy's had one or two warnings. We sat down and had the talk. He's got his stuff together, so we're good. So... What is, you know, for anyone, what is the coolest product that you guys have seen so far on the show floor? There's got, so many. That, oh, that's a great answer. Oh. Right, okay, so in the law enforcement bit, there are these cameras, which is a thermal camera, and it's also got a, um, so you can see the thermal, but from far away you can't really see the definition of things, so it overlays normal video, so you can see, like, it's like a video game. Like you, can, you know, like the little video game cameras you get when you like sneak on the doorways and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, wow. it's one of them. It's not airsofty, but it's cool. No, no, so it's like a, so for PDS 14, which is engine technology. It's like oh, a drink. Oh. So it's They're a coming out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Drinks just come up. Things of water show up. Snakes, <laughs> snakes are beneath us. So, so like when you get uh, like the tech talk and everybody starts geeking out, you should tune in to. You can find it on the iTunes podcast, I, yes, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, all that. So, Guns, Gear, and Beer is actually a really, really good. Um, actually, no, this ad's brought to us by Guns, Gear, and Beer. Oh so wow! How much does that cost? So, Guns, Gear, and Beer, like you guys <laughs> should really tune into it. It's, it's my um, commute. It's what I listen to when I commute to work, and because I have like uh, two and a half to three hours of commute every day, and you get a lot of information, a lot of cool like inside stuff from some really cool people in the industry. Like, uh, you've got, a, um, like, mainstream music from... Yeah, uh, Phil from All That Remains. All That Remains. Uh, Adam Peeney from, from Knights Armament. Armament. I mean, you got guys yeah. from Spirit of Systems always chiming in, and, like, these guys drop some awesome Name knowledge. dropper. People Not name like dropping, but, like, <laughs> like, these guys are literally sitting around with yeah, beer, impressed. playing with guns. Like, you even got Lucas from T-Rex Arms. <laughs> name and dropper. they're just talking, like... <laughs> And venting, and uh, but there's a lot of guys that can share a lot of knowledge. You can pick, you can pick up a lot of really useful information. I'm so I'm this ad commercial has been brought to you by Guns Gear and Beer. Guns Gear and Beer available on all major dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly 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 <laughs> dilly dilly. So there. Hey everybody, Josh here with Falcon Sports and we're at 2018 SHOT Show here at booth number 3826 and we'd like to introduce you to the AVP-17. This is the Advanced Falcon Pistol 2017 model. You asked, we listened. We brought you all the best features in an affordable package for a striker fired type pistol. It has integrated thumb rests, accessory rail, flared magwell, and low profile futuristic front sights. Available in black, silver, and gold, this beauty is an awesome futuristic contoured take on your striker fire pistol. It comes with a threaded barrel and it also is compatible with most inner barrels, buckings, and magazines for your G-Series airsoft pistols. 
Be sure to check this out soon at your local Valken dealer or online at valken.com. Everybody pick up the phones. Hey, oh. well, wait, welcome back. Carl! Thank you, Carl, for... <laughs> Carl. Carl. Giving Carl, us a warning. Carl. 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 So, <laughs> warning next time, Carl. Thank you. Uh, so, anyway, Derek, we had a quick question. Yes. Uh, Michael asked, did you get to touch that rifle that wasn't allowed to be touched? Yes, that we absolutely did. That was with Aaron from Landtac at the Landtac booth, and I've been friends with him for a while, and we set that up. We thought it'd be really funny and if I was reaching for it, and he would come and yell at me. And he did a very <laughs> convincing job with it. <laughs> Lots of people thought I was actually getting killed at it. Oh, <laughs> so anything else? Any, I, see, I really I mean, love... I, I really want to know what j thinks. Like, the coolest thing. Dude, like, he is like... That's relevant for like... The your... gun picture taking horror <laughs> of SHOT Show. So... This is my seventh year now, Yeah, and I haven't really taken anything else oh. away, but I've seen so much stuff from the previous years, I'm like, okay, I'll just kind of pick and choose. What about the long rail back there everyone's been taking pictures with? I think everyone got a picture. I oh, from Lele. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we need to bring it up. Uh, E-bike had it at their booth. Yeah, with the, yeah. It was, uh... The Lelax <laughs> long rail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That actually doesn't work. It works. It, it does. Works the the inner barrel well. still, they said the inner barrel still, so they said it would function, but probably not very well, because... The inner brow wasn't extended, and the outer brow was extended to the hole. So it was a four, me uh, four meter inner barrel. Whatever, whatever came stock, yeah. That's <laughs> it, so. The beam would probably bounce around. Very the accurate. Yeah. It would get out. Yeah, it, would, okay. it would get out. So. I think yeah. it might be as tall as me. I was wondering because it was, yeah. it was, you know, I'm six foot two, and it was pretty, it was pretty tall yeah, for me. Five so. foot three. I'm yeah, pretty sure it was taller than you. I think it would be. I need to go find it. It's airsoft stuff. Picture. It's okay. You yeah, can. I'm like, oh. Whatever. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. Awesome. what's really it's funny is people would the buy joke it. is so like next to the crisp they would they would so yeah, just have they totally would like yeah, absolutely yeah. Into EMG is the distributor of Crytek which is the airsoft version of the crisp vector and an airsoft company in Japan made a ridiculously long rail for the crisp vector why that's well, exactly why that's it because they, <laughs> like, because they the, could they because made it and it's yeah. just so everybody can hold this giant crisp vector that yeah so just just so you're not lost but. Yeah, but that's literally right next to the Chris booth. So, you know, you, you hold the ruins and you're wild, and you're like, oh, you're going to ride the tarp. <laughs> <laughs> so did you find anything cool? Uh, actually, yeah, I mean, in regards to law enforcement, um, breaching. So obviously, so as part of the SWAT team, we want to get inside of a structure, right? And with um, shotgun breaching, we usually aim at hinges, right? You place a shotgun against the hinge, hit an angle, shoot up the hinges, and then hit the lock, shoot up the lock, boot the door, ram the door, whatever it is you're going to do. So there's a company that has um, new ammunition that can shoot out of 223 out of um, uh, other small arms rounds and things like that, but it's uh, similar to compressed powder or copper. Mm -hmm. So when it hits, it, it automatically disperses right away. So it pretty much eats away all soft materials and leaves a metal for the snow uh, ricochets of fragmentation? Right, and so yeah. the idea is no, no overpenetration, which is the big deal. And when it comes to breaching now, if you think about it, you can breach with an AR platform instead of using a shotgun. Which you, you, most of the breaching shotguns are short. You only have yeah, yeah, two, you got like three, three in rounds there. in it. Right, and they're little stubbies, and you crank and pop, pop, mm -hmm. boom, right? But now if you have a two, two, three to do it, you can hit, 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 first man in, and still have rounds to deliver if there's a threat. Yeah. So, in terms of tactics, that's awesome to be able to breach and enter right away mm -hmm. with that kind of ammunition, so it's cool. It does like, uh, there's usually you have like, I mean, how many guys on team? One or two that, that have a breaching shotgun that's specifically made yeah, for Yeah, usually yeah. one or two breachers with the breaching shotgun and then actual mechanical breachers that will... Um, Which is now like, out. I've seen, like, at least in Denver, uh, Denver SWAT's been using chainsaws. Yeah. Like, just um, straight up. They'll cut. use the diamond blade saws and they'll yeah. usually, we'll call a fire department if they have like some major reinforced door because they have the diamond blade saws. Yeah. <laughs> Go right down there. That's yeah. nuts. They just go. They just let it go six to eight inches away from the hinge side. And, just yeah. and kill it in. Funny story. We were breaching a house, and the guy, the breacher with the ram, was hitting the freaking door. He hit it seventeen times. And I was the third guy in. I was laughing at him. Was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> His arms are like jello. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious just to watch him. But I was oh. yelling like, "Hit the lock! Hit the lock!" So he's hitting the. It was a um, double door. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing was just. Blowing, about Boeing and flexing. It's really funny. 
Wow. And finally, I just yelled at him, hit the lock a couple times, and he smashed the lock out, and then we just smashed the door and went in. It was hilarious. So that, that must be some sort of encapsulator. I'm going to have to go check that out, because this sounds really cool. Yeah, I think it's, I'm trying to remember the company. I can look it up later. But. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's really cool. Okay, Tim. Like, you came, you know, you're from overseas, Hong Kong. Yeah. Like the mecca of airsoft. Or, what have you seen but here? But he's not the fanboy, though. Yeah, he is. To a degree. Yeah, um, true. Well, I I do, I have kept my eyes. Was it Instructor eyes. Zero? No, no, I kept my... <laughs> <laughs> I've kept my eyes on the shotgun that he works with, though. The okay. Feybomb STF-12. Because mm-hmm. uh, I, I saw it at Iwa a couple years back. And I know there's an airsoft version com- of it coming out. And I know VFC are making it. I know it's going to be out in a couple weeks. Awesome. But the first thing I want, uh, unfortunately, nobody was able to get an airsoft version to the show, even though it's in working condition, mm-hmm. which is a huge bummer, because I thought that would have been, if there was one really cool thing to show at Iwa for airsoft, that would have been it. Unfortunately, when it comes to um, what I saw this year, it was a little, um, it was okay. You know, it, the, the products that were out this year are, are all right, but I thought that would have been the, the coolest thing to showcase. But that, that's, a, that's something that's only showcasing next week. So I saw the, air, uh, I saw the real STF-12, and I was standing there for a couple of minutes admiring it. I've been there too. Of course, the, what we have to admire in Airsoft right now are things with double barrels or triple barrels. Or Do you mean yeah. the cap- <laughs> more barrel. like, the two cap- barrel they are yeah. and <laughs> double barrel pistols? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's that's like that, that actually yeah. sounds pretty cool. Um, I, uh, Bob and I will be at Iowa, and so we'll see you again. Yes, you will. Stop by and say hi. So definitely, we're will you be doing one of these at Iowa as well? Hmm? Will you be showcasing one of these at Iowa as well? Well, well we've been so caught up with this. I mean, maybe I we'll know. be we'll be making the uh, media schedule next week. We're going to be starting to work, and if you're curious. Those of you out there wondering what IWA means, it's actually the IWA, which is a European trade show. It's the European version of Shot Show, but but does it mean German. something in German? Because like I mean, just pen. International Waffenangebot. Oh, sure. What's a pen? There. <laughs> what's a what? What's pen? Oh, what's like a writing pen? Yeah, writing pen. Kugelschreiber. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Falcon, Red Wolf, we will be there at the IWA in Nuremberg in March mm-hmm. for the European trade show. Um, Woodcock actually says, Tim, why are you here? At Shop Show? Or no, in the at... show. Why Why not? There you yeah. go, Woody. There <laughs> you dilly go. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. <laughs> um, why does, what's why with dilly dilly? You Isn't it called dilly dally? What's with the dilly dilly thing? The, it's the Bud Light commercial. Bud Light this year ran an ad. It's really not that funny, but it's funny if you do it yourself. But yes. It's a king that just wants all Bud Light, and every time they someone brings in Bud Light, they all okay. dilly dilly dilly. Okay, because it's dilly, a good thing. dilly dally in the UK is just like... Man. Yeah, just oh no, it's, 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 no, no, it's a good know. thing. Yeah, we like so, dilly dilly's a good thing. Ryan Brown asks, what is the point of a double barrel weapon of any kind? Double top. America. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the no. home of the double barrel shotgun. <laughs> Two of anything is better, right? There Two are, barrels are better than one. There are Boxbuch Flinta in German, which is a double barrel over and under, which where you have well, a good. shotgun barrel on top and, then and a right rifle barrel yeah. on the butt for drive hunts because you never know what's going to be pushed out in front of you so you're able to take a shot at whatever game you need to. So, speaking of shots... Okay. <laughs> I really liked the SCR pistol. The S- Have you guys seen the SCR pistol? Which one? It's, the, it's, the, it's the snub... AR that looks like it has a flintlock pirate handle on the end. Oh, the AR pistol. It's yeah. the SCR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, so uh, SCR. Uh, I saw some range Flint Light. Is it Flintlight Industries? But, hmm. yeah. yeah originally, the, like, they took an AR and they put, like, a sawed off shotgun handle on it and it's nice. got, like, a five round mag. Oh, yep. yes. Yeah. Those are cool. And it's, like, it's, like, literally, like, an eight inch <laughs> barrel and it looks, it looks like, a pirate shooting an AR. Arg. I, I think that's cool. Arg. A lot of, lot of uh, people asking what we're drinking. And also, <laughs> also Gino from marketing is also watching as well. 
Oh, Gino from marketing. Hello, Gino from marketing. This is what, what are we drinking? Wonderful marketing yeah, budget. <laughs> so okay, okay, okay. It's, it's fine. Um, Ryan has been characteristically quiet. <gasps> what? So I want to hear what really turned your head at Shasha. Um, I've been looking at going to an HPA setup, so I've been interested in all of the different um, rifles that have gotten the canister and the stock. Yeah, okay. I don't really want to be. That's big I don't want to be year. tethered to something. Mm -hmm. um, we call it the air one. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's yes. called the air one. Yes. It comes in three yes. different versions now. There, there are several companies that have them, and I'm yeah, I'm, I'm actively looking at all of them. But so. you meant the AR one. We know. We know. Yeah. What you meant. Yeah. yeah. We know what you I mean, mean, like if you still want to use electronics, where you like you know water and you know yeah. we got computerized failures. I mean, but if you want batteries and yeah, but mechanical <laughs> setup would be great. So. Yeah. Um, no, you should. The, the car and the PDW are actually really cool, and there's there's more stuff coming. But yeah, no, I've been covering, I've been seeing all that too, and that's yeah, no, and there's a number of companies that are doing that, so I'm I'm kind of interested we can in that. say Valken being one of them. Oh, yeah, shark and free. Um, but yeah, they they've been uh, working really hard. So yeah. it's but, but what's cool what's cool is that airsoft doesn't get is that like competition's good. Absolutely. So like when all these companies are doing this stuff, it. You know the consumer base, the customer, the retailer. You know they grow. Show one off at your booth, right? Yeah, yeah everyone's kind of going that way. It is good. Yeah. Competition is always good. But no, Wolverine's got a great setup, and Redline's got a good setup, and, and and actually Redline was the one that I first saw. So and then you guys. And Redline, actually, a lot of engineers came from paintball. So yeah. air softers don't get to say they invented the air system. <laughs> <laughs> as far insane. as as far as the really cool stuff I've seen, um, one of the things I saw was a. Uh, there was a drone company there, and they had a drone about as big as this table. It was it was awesome. And you can also see that DJI, but yeah. well, <laughs> <laughs> this was kind of a gold color, and it was yeah. Yeah, it sounds mean, a little bit DJI. The biggest they have is Inspire, or unless you're going to no, a, no, no. to the the commercial models. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then probably one of the scariest things, and I was talking about you this with you guys last night, was I saw a gel pepper spray. Which Ooh, just sounds, yeah, I mean, that sounds nasty. evil. Yeah, I mean they just took took the step up from foam and just you won't be able to wipe off gel. It's just gonna yeah, stay just slimy oh, on sticky. you. The viscosity and surface tension. Yeah, like, you can't just, get it off. Yeah, yes. I mean it's yeah. in your hair. Jayla, you remember the first time you got? Well, sprayed. I was gonna say when you went through the academy, how many how many chemical agents did you go through? Do you remember? Just two. Okay, I went through seven. Wow. Oh, Whoa. We they had spray a, at you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Glasses. Oh, you have to Did you do something wrong? Or they you, you have to experience we just, it. We, just, we had a, a sergeant who enjoyed delivering pain, and I'm like, cool. Good times. <laughs> see this. Nice. We were stupid. And we decided to exercise and CS gas to see who could, you know, what what squad could remain the longest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I got this. I got this. <laughs> so we're doing flutter kicks and everything. Oh, oh my goodness. Boy. And. Yeah. With that, real quick, in because we've had the Supreme Commander from the Pacific Falcon Corps region, Callista, this is your first live stream you were joining. Thank you very much. Just for you, check out you and everyone else this commercial on our new Falcon ASL series rifle. from Falcon Sports and we are here at SHOT Show 2018 at booth 3826 and today we are releasing the new Falcon ASL Series Tango Rifle. We have an ambidextrous fire selector lever, an ambidextrous magazine release, and a billet style receiver set. Some of the other cool new features are the 13 inch M-Lock rail with a single pin barrel nut system. It has M-Lock attachment points at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock position and also includes a 3-inch Picatinny rail segment. Other features include the front and rear high-vis sights and a new anti-reversal latch access port, which can be found directly under the selector lever on the right-hand side of the rifle. The new Falcon ASL Series Tango Rifle is coming to you soon from your local authorized Falcon dealer or falcon.com. Welcome back, episode 24. We are live here in the beautiful Venetian Casino Hotel, doing it live, episode 24 with the Valken Debrief. 
please, if you're just joining us, click that share button. We love it. We love as many viewers as possible. Share all this wonderful stuff. We're talking about SHOT Show 2018 with all our wonderful guests, as you can see throughout the camera. So we keep talking about sharing, but there's always that incentive to share button. What are we giving away this week? Oh. We could, hey, we can you guys decide. Up. Like, throw some ideas out there, you know? We, we, we can only say no. We can bring back a, a SHOT Show swipe back. Ooh. Bob, they liked your commercial. They sell commercials what they played. Good reactions from your commercial. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And if you'd like to guess what ASL stands for, put that in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be Don't help them out. That would be interesting. <laughs> the age, sex, location rifle. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell where you are. And how old that would you be are. ASL. <laughs> and what you are. <laughs> he was from British occupied Hong Kong. British <laughs> occupied. That's right. So. That is it. Tim, I missed 29, you. 29, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you too, Rob. Uh, oh, God, I miss you so, guys so much. Uh, back up with the the, the questions. Um, has anybody seen anything cool outside of the show? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. That was a resounding yes. Yes, so, it was. Okay. I've seen a lot of cool things. But the thing the thing of Vegas is they've spent so much money on making it so crazy ridiculous. We were driving through the strip to the Venetian, and I've never seen. I've been here twice, but there was this massive burst of flame near the Mirage, and I was like, what is that? <laughs> what is it? Why have I never seen it? It's like this giant ass volcano that shoots water and fire. And I'm like, you Americans, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it, it's just good, it's good. Because why? Because why, why not? You can walk into the yeah, Bellas exactly. and go buy some, uh, uh, it's escaping me right now, what's the stuff you mix? The Tannerite. Tannerite. Yeah. You can just, what's it for? It, it's an exploding target. Well, what's it do? It, it goes boom. boom. It goes boom when it's you shoot it. Yeah. You know, that's, that, that's Cabela's for you. <laughs> because you can. Ryan says you, we should box up every product that you've shown and give it away. Ooh. Ooh, oh, that big yeah. Bobby's interest. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Josh looked like almost every other video, but you know that was that was a lot. Yeah, because like you guys like hand off. And, yeah, uh, that was a lot. That's, that we could do that. I like I Josh mean, on video. Show. It is shot show. Everybody likes Josh on video. So, so dapper. Everybody's been to shot before except Bobby. No, I've never been either. Really? Really? Oh, oh I'm not the only. Well, I'm on the Ewa. That's true, but okay. you've already answered, Bobby. Sorry. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> uh, uh, Kelly got popped too. It wasn't just me. <laughs> I'll answer. I'll answer that. I'll take the spotlight off of Kelly. She's a first timer. <laughs> Lol. So, what? <laughs> Have you seen anything cool outside I've of seen, the show? There's too much cool to talk about. This this place is, uh, I think the biggest surprise to me was how massive the place was. I, I wasn't, like everyone was telling me, like, listen, it's going to be big. I'm going like, yeah, okay, it's going to be big. I got you. No, it's gonna be big. I took and crawl. I got you. Until you until you come here, like you don't realize how massive this place is. Like I was at one point walking around for a while, thinking I've seen it all. And then all of a sudden, they took me to like a different floor. And when I came up the escalator, there was like a actual forest, like full trees. Right. And I'm like, I'm I'm still inside. Like this is you know, like there was boots who showed up and set up like two story, like say like a almost like a lounge area up top. to be like a VIP to get in and have drinks with like Mossberg. I'm like. They set this stuff. This is unbelievable. This is uh. It takes like ten minutes to walk across a single floor of the hotel. Yeah. I mean. Well, yeah. yeah. Look, but look, who's got the biggest booth this year? Like. Oh. I think like. How many, how many third executive story. rooms does Sig have? I've seen they have like ten or fifteen. That that impressed me a lot too. When you get to the booths and you see that there are actual constructed booths for the Up event. Top. And yeah, there's upper levels with private <clears throat> meeting rooms. Like, so the, the highest open. I've seen was you've got the main level in meeting rooms, and then there's a second level. But then there's like a third level, which is like open with handrails, where like they're usually serving drinks or something, and that might have been Sig or like another one of the really big guys. Also, some, you know, some have presentation stages and two floors. Uh, yeah. Black Hawk. Oh right, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Blackhawk has a presentation stage. Yeah. So um, and you know in Airsoft KWA like they have those giant glass walls, that is just like how do you get in here? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's oh. Crazy. So we were having dinner last night with uh, C3 KW, and KWA. Yeah, so. Garen and Greg from KWA, and the running joke was because they have that that uh, training simulator in in the middle glass column, mm -hmm. 
but they started messing with someone, and or, well, more than one, and said that, yes, at the end of each day, right before we close, we lock somebody in there, <laughs> and tons of $100 bills are flying in, <laughs> pumped in, and you got to grab as many, as many as you can. It does look like that. It does look it like does. that. It is Vegas. Yeah. That is. Do any of you gamble? No. Mm. Not, not, I've pulled not very well. a hand. That's it. Like a really big one. It's like you put the dollar in and you pull the big handle. It's like, ah, I gambled. Bye. Uh, okay. I, I did for the first time last year. Like I gave it 20 bucks and it was gone. I'm like, well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket list. So, it's, uh, uh, it's hard, it's hard at, the, at the big casinos because on the strip because your money goes so fast. So. If you go to Old Vegas or something, and it's your high them. ground airsoft and like cash in like four and five and eight hundred dollar, you know, well, ticket. Sure. I cashed out at twenty five cents last year. Nice. I have Ooh, no you're idea. positive. Yeah, you're I true. had no idea what was happening. <laughs> no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Slapping buttons. They gave me this here. Like they gave me a ticket. Oh, I won big. Hey, mom, look. Was that on like the, the the nickel machine where you put the nickels in and you get twenty five cents? No, I was being cheeky, so in one of the casinos, if you sell the machine and you put money in, it doesn't matter how much money you put in, they bring you drinks. So you can sit there and put a dollar in and get a drink. Mm. So I was doing that for was it Was it the uh, top shelf stuff too? Yeah. Yeah, I was explaining it. There's, <laughs> there's this one poker bar. In the it's like, okay, so, so Michael and Ryan are bugging us about the ASL BBs. Like oh, the, the Accelerate Pro Match BBs. Yeah, the Accelerate Pro Match. Ah. Highly polished. Highly polished. Seamless. Seamless. And actually, we have a formula that's four weeks old. It's a 4 8 white. So we have coming like one of the heaviest white rounds in the industry. We'll also have the half gram, making them cry. <laughs> Your kids will feel yes. it. Um, five gram. Half a gram? Half a gram. Half a gram. Six millimeter, half a gram. It's like gray, but it's, it's, it's oh, half a gram. Ow. So non metallic. Yeah. So we're keeping fun. the square bottle so it doesn't roll around everywhere. <laughs> really? Colored caps, colored labels, and we'll have bio and. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so <laughs> we'll have the bio so and the non bio. Up to 0.36, or point, yeah, point yeah point 0.36 three, bio. And yeah, then, and then 0.4 and 0.5. And 0.48. 0.48 white. White. Point 0.5 is gray. The 0.5 is light gray. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that'll be a non bio. So, and that'll be available mid March. Oh, you snipers. Yes. <laughs> that'll be available mid March. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up, guys? Yes. What's up, guys? Tracer. What's up, guys? <laughs> point two, point two five tracers. Were you well there? Right. Were you there at the little Irish pub in IWA when you rolled by? I was by, when that happened. When he rolled by on yeah. in the limo. And Thomas from ASG was like, "No, <laughs> no, Rich, let no. me get your pin." <laughs> oh, 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 he drove oh, by. Like, everyone yeah. was screaming. Oh my! Pint glass got thrown as well. Yes, it did. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Nothing but net, Kobe. <laughs> 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 so, so serious question for like um, this is all. This also goes for um, Derek and JLo. Like, what do you guys think of airsofters? Like in general, hmm? <laughs> but they both play. Airsoft. You can say present company and say I'm, they do. I mean, you know, from back in the day, but yeah. like airsofters now because. I'm not going to mention anybody or say any slogans, but like, there's some guys that take it a little too seriously. Um, I mean, JLo, you and I have been playing since together 2004. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's when I first got into that. Yeah. We were on the same team back in 2004. They had to play Game Pods. They were the house team at Game Pod. Before he had the arena. Yeah. Was this was the it. house team yeah, of back just the when store. Your options were Classic Army and Tokyo Marine. And yes. The original yes. and back when classic yes. 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 yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Now you can go get the double barrel. <laughs> the Tie Fighter. <laughs> Dude, Gregory Wong well, said it perfect. It's like it's shooting a Tie Fighter. Pew, pew, that was awesome. <laughs> no, I mean I know I know you you know you kind of like separate from only go to events with your friends because yeah, like I... you have the keyboard cowboys in in um, not paintball. Uh, the firearms industry, and then you have the keyboard cowboys and airsoft. 
and I don't know if there's a distinction I've, how bad they are. Uh, no, they're different types of bad. They're both bad, and I've found that I've enjoyed both more as I've just tried to disconnect myself from both as much as possible. So I'm, I'm, I have very little engagement in internet airsoft as all. I enjoy going to events, meeting friends, setting up a table, but I don't really, I don't really engage in any of the forums or the YouTube comments or any of that anymore. And I found that I've enjoyed it more. Mm. Well, something I've learned is like. Um, when you start to get in that, that mud pit and you get bogged down by the negativity, one, it can really jade you and can really affect your outlook on things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think Travis Haley said it best, that like whatever you do, always do something constructive. Always yeah. move forward, always build. You get, you, know, you get dragged down and you start getting in, you know, involved in all that, that's, you know, and being destructive. So I mean, it's easy to be destructive. It's easy to destroy. It's building something and doing something that's simple is extremely difficult. And so just kind of like, you know, move forward in that. Absolutely. But, and then, you know, I get, you get to see it all the time. <laughs> yeah, so. Where's your orange tip? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we get so many of those calls, you'd be surprised. And kids, and I hate to say it, kids love them look like grown adults because they're just big. Kids are big these days. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. They're Anyways, when we start approaching people with guns out and they're like, why do you have your guns out? Like, dude, you have a freaking gun that looks like a gun. What do yeah. You, you know, what do you want us to do? But in regards to airsofters, actually, um, some of them I applaud their knowledge on some of the, the guns because some of these guys, like, nerd out on stuff, which is great. I'm like, that's cool. You know your stuff. That's great. I just encourage them to get out. Um, if they have the opportunity, get out and go with real steel and go shoot and um try doing tactical stuff or stuff you may or may not do in airsoft in that kind of setting and see what works for you. Mm -hmm. um, if not, just enjoy the sport, enjoy the, you know, the game. Go have fun. Yeah, I, I think one of the biggest things I, mean, I go around you know, companies or entities will view airsoft as like a toy. Mm -hmm. And while it is a plastic toy that shoots a little BB, you know, it's also a gateway into learning how to be responsible with firearms. <clears throat> And instead of treating it like a toy and use this as your entry level platform to learn and then, you know, move up into firearms. But you know, not everyone can take humility with them. Uh, but, you know, be able to learn and have, um, what do they call them? Not, you know, people say carrying training scars, but take good habits with them. Sure. Yeah. You know, and, and actually, Kevin, Kevin Pierre asks, uh, uh, those of you that know Pierre, Kevin Pierre, he has a very good question, and it kind of goes into acting appropriately. What are your guys' thoughts on ragers, and there's like rage quitters, people that get angry, that just blow up, you know, people raging, and just airsoft. Just chill. Just chill out. I've, it's I've a game. never gotten game. that angry. We're yeah. shooting tiny white yeah. holes at each other. And and everyone's calm down. Did, did you do the white six millimeter BB hook, the <laughs> hardcore operator? <laughs> you know, it's, just like, uh, it's a game. And you know what? And the people who bring, um, they had a topic recently of people who follow me, of um, even the people who post about them as well. Like that has to stop as well. Like the rage videos, it makes the whole sport, in my opinion, look very really bad. So even like, when you get the cheater videos and rage videos, like that's all got to end too. Like, Cheetah videos all that's much. Yeah, that's got to go away. Like, my sport looks so bad. Yeah. No, because yeah. like people want to go things go, to go viral. It's and they want clicks, yeah. but it totally diminishes and tarnishes the image Childish. that we're trying to, you know, the positivity. The two the last two large national events that Rich and I went to, I mean, the gameplay was great. Like very honorable, very well played. Um, overall, we had, you know, minimal interactions, but in any sport, no matter what it is, you always have those, you know, basketball, football, you, know, you see fights or you get, you know, guys get angry or they're happen, heated, yeah. you know, it's going to happen, it's going to, but it's really kind of silly. I mean, it's not, you know, walk away, go find another target. Do you, do you think attitude and, and sportsmanship is regional? <sighs> People or, have suggested that. I mean, I mean, honestly. All right. Okay. So a caveat to that. Yeah. So it could be regional because some regions is focused on the individual, some regions are focused on the team. I think that the best regions where you have teams policing their own players in their own community. But if you have a bunch of lone wolves out there, there's no one to police each other. It's like, yeah, F off, man, screw you, do your own thing, whatever, go away. 
There, I, there are regions of the country that seem to be worse about that than others. They're for sure. Different I've seen it cultures. in every country. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it in every country. It's, it's the exact same in the UK. Okay. It's the exact same in Hong Kong. But do you see different areas in the UK that are better than other areas? No. No, it's widespread. It's widespread. No, it's, it's, it's all over the US. It's all over Canada. It's all over Europe. It, like, you're right. It, it, team policing is, is a great idea. Yeah. And it's if, like when the guy starts getting up and he's going to do this thing. You got your teammates that jump on. Shut! You know? Right. <laughs> yeah. it's and it's also down to how the airsoft fields are run. Yeah. And um, right. sometimes there are fields where the, the people who run the place are, uh, are, are, shouldn't be running the place. Yeah, they're they're worried about their buddies or what people will think are people coming back. But yeah. running the when you stomp that out yeah. and you mm -hmm. get it out, yeah. Yeah. More people come. You know, you shouldn't tolerate all this behavior. When you see, when, speaking of like rage quitting and such, if you see that kind of pay, behavior, the referee needs to tell this person to just go off and cool out and stay out of the game to, for another game, and just come back when he's all situated and collected. Yeah. This, um, but uh, yeah, I, I've seen it everywhere. I found a lot of sites in the UK. Um, if someone starts getting really et up, they'll be taken downstairs and be like, you know, just chill out, calm down, otherwise you go. It's very There's British. No need. It's and very so, British. So that's a great example, too. <laughs> People see, even they said team policing, and even uh, like the refs or marshals stepping in and doing it, it sets an example for the next person who would want to get that rage or fight. It sets them up, well, it's not going to be tolerated, and that's how it's going to, you know. Yeah. So those of you that are just joining us, we you are watching episode 24 live here on Falcon Airsoft Facebook page. This is the Falcon Debrief. Live. Episode. Live 24. from Shot Show. Yes. So please like and share uh, the video. Post your comments below for your questions for our group. Also, we got a quick commercial break for you. Uh, show you another one of our vlogs from Shot Show 2018, and we will be right back. What's up guys, welcome to SHOT Show Day 2. Welcome back, episode 24 of the Falcon Debrief. We are live here, SHOT Show 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas. And if you're just joining us, be sure to hit that share button. And hey, if you want to comment on uh, what we should be giving away from the show, write it down in the comments. Everyone that shares. If you come up with a really good idea, I might give you like that very first like hot off the line. <laughs> like no, serial number 000. Two. Yeah, because one is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Um, Paul asks, why does Tim look like he's been taken hostage? 
Don't Maybe because that. I'm in the middle of the seat and it's really sunk down. No more talking. No more talking. That's enough. That's enough. Don't answer too much. Don't answer too much. <laughs> just drink your. Well, because Tim is very water. proper. He's very rigid, so he's just like, I don't know what to say. Should I let loose? The thing is, blinking the torture blink. Oh, Ryan yeah. says. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ryan Marcus says we're holding him for ransom. Help it's me. Tim blinking torture. Hashtag save Tim. Hashtag save Tim. <laughs> All about those pistols, though. There's been so much hate on the pistol. Okay. Can I rant? Can I have a micro rant? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. please. I want to hear it. <laughs> it, was, it was voted. Story time it's with good. Josh. It's story time. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Da, 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 All right, da, 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 da. so everybody likes to go off on, like, you know, the knockoff tangent or this and that. But, like, when you take something and you have to navigate that minefield and make features that make sense but make it look cool and, you know, make it fun, because airsoft is supposed to be fun. It's not always about, you know, how opera you look. And then everybody hates it, but still, you know, whatever. You know, there's some people's like blood, sweat, and tears that were in it. It's I'm done. It's all right. It's okay, Batman. It's okay. Do you want to call it? There is this running joke <laughs> on our, our team. So we have a tight knit airsoft team, and we're slowly forming the Justice League. So we've got Batman, you know, pessimistic, old, salty. You got Superman, who's like sees the best in everybody. I have hope. <laughs> I'm like Rich from C3. I have. I have the backup plan in case everybody stabs me in the back. So can I be Flash? <laughs> Is there a reason why you want to be the fastest man in the world? Why not? In and out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hashtag save Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's know. why I want to run out of no. Barry's kind of <laughs> awkward. You know, Barry's always messing with the timeline. Uh, <laughs> I do that. On the way back on the way back to Hong Kong. Uh, you do go back in time. I do go I do go forward. Oh. That's bad. No. No, no, no I, well, you go back to Hong Kong, isn't it? Yes. Back no, in time because um, it's a day later. I here. leave on the twenty eighth. I arrive on the thirtieth. The 29th doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. And I never thought of that. This I am Barry true. Allen. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not Barry Allen. I'm not a superhero. Hashtag saved him. Hashtag saved him. <laughs> Hashtag saved him. He needs you! <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, a train cyborg because he's got like all the cool stuff. He's got so many cans hanging off of him. Like he's walking around, you know, with all the, the camera equipment. Make him look at everybody look awesome. Saving the day. Yes. We won't talk about his box. Seriously. Can't talk you about know, the box. Unboxing big boxes. Oh. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Cut a hole in the box. <laughs> <laughs> the box uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. oh. Has anybody... Because uh, I'm a foodie. Anybody... Because we always have our traditional places. Anything... Does anybody have any traditional places, or have you seen any places that you've eat that's new, and what'd you like about it? Flaming fajitas. Flaming fajitas. Never you were just fajitas. all about fire right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a little uh, fajita restaurant in, in downtown, and basically what they do is they bring out your food on a big plate, and they pour something on it, and they get a lighter and just set fire, and it's like... Whoa. Flame of Fajitas. You're a pyro. I, I, I'm a pyromaniac. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Baked Alaska, you should try that. Those guys what have the that? best quips. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, it's on fire. I'm down. <laughs> they were all, all the way down. For a birthday. All the way down. What about the rest of you? The Bobby? I mean, like, we've had Bobby on a short lease. So, I mean, he got over to you know, Treasure Island last night to the buffet, and he was like, oh my god, man. <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the furthest I've traveled. Other than that, I, I search for the cheapest. So that little, this hotel's pretty fancy. So that little, little slither of like white trash in the corner. That's where I go. So. Walgreens. Yeah, Walgreens has been. That's even above my level a little bit. But that's been. Great. Walgreens so. is like the lifesaver. Yeah, it's been great. Don't <laughs> No, these guys like. Didn't, he's been coming. You didn't know. It's like, why are you buying beer at the bar? I can go buy a twelve pack. And I can walk through the bar. I can I can open my twelve pack and walk through the casino drinking my beer, while you, <laughs> while you're one beer in your tip, and I could have had two. My my first year, I made the mistake of buying one drink at one of the bars. Like, yeah, I'll just have a beer. I remember the like, story on the podcast. Uh, uh, that would be fifteen dollars. Like, well, that's not happening again. Right. <laughs> yeah. 
I had a, I asked for an old fashioned whiskey. I, I was actually sitting with Robo, Matt, you know, the, all the guys from Edic, and uh, a lot of guys from the Milsom community, and I ordered an old fashioned whiskey, and they tried to charge me twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. I mean, it was like all alcohol, but I'm like, I actually sent it back. I'm like, this is not an old fashioned whiskey. If you're gonna charge me that, get it right. You don't have bitters behind the bar. Orange bitters? No, we're not doing this. You know, reverse the charge on my card. <laughs> Put it back. Can I do that? that? Hmm? Can I do that? Oh, yeah. If you can play. If it's not, always, if it's if not what it's supposed enough, to be. But, like, yeah. British but people don't complain. I used to be... Yeah, so I do. went to, like, the oh. bartending <laughs> school, so I know what's supposed to be in your drink. So, okay. like, if I can name what is supposed to be in what I order, mm -hmm. yeah, you will reverse the charge. Oh, okay. So. Well, that's what... I had to apologize to my wife on... Because we first got here and we went and ate at the Hofbrau house. Hashtag save Tim. Hashtag save Tim. Oh, thank you. Yes. My Hashtag imaginary fancy drink. Finger. Fancy finger. He's and not that fancy. Like, there's only so, few people in this room that knows what Club 7 Eleven is. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Mark. <laughs> so I ordered uh, a one liter beer at the Hofbrau house. I didn't know what the price was. I knew what the price of my meal was, and when they brought the check, the beer was the same price as my meal, and I was like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> so I'd be like, honey, you're going to see this charge, and I apologize, I did not know the beer was $18. <laughs> $18. Dollars. So, for a beer. Yeah. Jeremy, what are, your, what are some of your favorite places to eat when you're here? So I, I think you know that every year when I come here, I'm here usually Monday through Friday, and every day I hit a buffet. Every single day. Oh, I remember that. Carnival every, buffet. Really? You know. Every day, yeah. That's that I think I'm your favorite to pick that yeah. up. So usually the first day I get here automatically it's Texas State Brazil. Meat sweats. Oh Brazilian barbecue. Meat sweats. And no, it's not like that scene from what is it, the <laughs> wedding the bridesmaids or whatever. Oh, like, yeah, no, 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 no. I Texas didn't State Brazil myself amazing. in the middle of the street, I was okay. And I freaking love that place. It's just meat, 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 more meat, right. right? I've forgotten how much you eat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can eat a lot. Mounds um, and mounds of And after mounds that, we went to, uh, I think we went to Cosmopolitan the <laughs> for the Wicked Spoon. And, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, we went to Caesars, the Back Mall Buffet. Just, oh, wow. That's meant to be very good. You made it out to the Rio? Uh, that's actually where we're staying um, okay. for this trip right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I love buffets, right? And like mm -hmm. Rio, back in the day, for me, used to be like my favorite. It's kind of dropped now. So <gasps> it's probably down to like number six for me. One of my favorite Sad. places um, <laughs> when I was younger, for the reasons we don't talk about, I came to Vegas, and <laughs> it was a chain that was on the East Coast, uh, I'm, excuse me, the West Coast and Vegas, but are you familiar with like a seafood buffet called Toad Eyes? Yes. So, long gone here, but like Toad Eyes was like the place had to go in Vegas. I was, I was showing him, you know, uh, pictures of the buffet, and I'm like, because <laughs> you get everything sushi, you can get it fried, you can get it uh, fresh. You can get, it, was, it was absolutely amazing, and um, we had a, we had our first buffet last night. But I don't know, maybe we need to make that like a thing. Uh, yes, I like that I, tradition. No mm. Yeah, going to the wind tonight. The wind. Yeah. Ooh, the yeah. wind. The buffet. That way. Yeah. So. <laughs> nice. Well, guys, we have a very special surprise oh, for me. each of you. Look under you your seats. Oh. Yeah, you Oprah guys, style. You guys get to grab under the table. Okay. Look under your seat. That what? Kelly's under nice you. What? Oh, it's on the yeah. me. Oh. No, we, we don't have any. It's like Oprah. Oh. Well, you're not, I'll give you yours. Thank you, sir. Can we open these now? Or? Yes, oh. open them now. It's like if it doesn't fit, you have to play. You know. that was, so, just rip it. So, oh, no. Yeah, just rip it. Just rip it. A little thank you for you guys for coming to right talk my elbow. the show right. for us today. And thank you all for joining us on episode 24 of the Falcon right. Debrief. Yes. We are live here at SHOT Show yes. 2018. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And as we go out, you will get to see this awesome stomping ground commercial. Follow us. Hit the share button. We will see you next week back in beautiful Colorado. Thanks, guys. Everybody say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace up. Peace up. <laughs>